in order to get your presentation tool that HMH has built for you into Google Slides, you can see that I am in Safari. And then in Discover, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where it says Daily Show and Teach Slides. When I click this, it's going to give me a list of all of the resources. So find which module, week, and lesson you need. So if this is the one that I want, I'm going to say Open. It's going to say View or Download. If I press Download, it's going to shift this into my Download button right here. But I'm just going to say View. It pulls this up and it basically looks like a PDF. I need to shift this into Google Slides. So if you have the Google Slides app downloaded on your iPad, you're going to press the share arrow. Down here in the middle, you're going to scroll until you see Google Slides. If you do not see Google Slides in this bar, scroll all the way over till you see more. And then when the more suggestions come up, scroll up until you see Google Slides. You do have to have this app downloaded on your iPad. Now when I click Google Slides, it's going to shift this over to the Slides application, and I'm going to say Save to Drive. Now you can see that it's saving this and opening this in Google Slides. Now it is opening this and saving it as a PowerPoint inside of my Google Slides. So if you want this as an actual slides presentation, you can come over here to the three dots, Share and Export, Save as a Google Slides file. So now this is going to change it from a PowerPoint to a Google Slides. All right, so now you can see it's made a copy of that file as a slide instead of a PowerPoint. So now when I open this, I'm inside of my Google Slides application. It has all of the visuals that are needed for this lesson. And what's even better, if I come over here to the three dots and I say turn on speaker notes, Underneath my presentation, you're going to have this great built-in language that HMH has already helped me with, so I'm not having to remember. I can just look and see what am I supposed to be talking about on this slide. What's also nice is if I am in the edit mode, I can come to some of the slides that are asking me to move things around. So for example, this slide right here on 29, it's telling me to move these buttons. So if I take my finger, I can bring up the B, I can bring over the A, and I can bring over the T and work with my kids on B, at, bat. So now I have a presentation, I have my language, and this is all ready to go inside of Google Slides.